All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to solve partial fractions using the decomposition method. In the decomposition method, we're kind of working backwards from a solved equation and then looking for individual roots. All right, today we're going to learn about how to do our pre-calculus. Okay, let's say we have the sample question where it says x minus 4 over x squared times x minus 1 and you have to do the decomposition method in order to find the partial fractions. First, you want to notice how many terms there are in the denominator. Here I have x squared and x minus 1. you got to count the x squared twice. There will be three terms in your denominator. So all I did here is I simplified the x squared into x times x, and then drop your x minus 1 for the third term. Since I have three terms, you're going to use a, b, and c as our three um, letters we're trying to solve. Then just set each one equal to one of the bottom, so a over x plus b over x plus c, x minus 1, equals the numerator, the x minus 4, that's what we got up here. In order to solve this, you want to set your denominators equal to 0 for your a or b or c, and then solve for the other letter. By putting it over x, you'll be able to see how two of the variables will cancel out for a and b. So for instance, if I set x equal to 0, anything divided by 0 is just 0. That gets rid of a and b. And then so solve for c here. c over negative 1, because it was x minus 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Equals 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Just cross multiply, you get 4. To solve for a and b, you just set x equal to 1. That cancels out the c. So again, you want to cancel out your variables before you do it. a plus b were over x, so it's just a over 1 is 1, and b over 1 is 1 equals negative 3. They have to each get the same amount for a and b, so you just divide by 2. You get a plus b equals negative 1.5.